Hi, everyone. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, and welcome, welcome to Live Sunday. Blessings to you all. This is a beautiful day, like somebody wrote in the chat. A beautiful day, everyone, after a whole lot of rain in New York. So listen, today we're going to have a little fun. We're going to talk about 11 unexpected signs. Your manifestation is coming right now. Now, listen, um, the reason I'm doing this is because we get so many people that are writing and, and they're feeling like nothing is working. And then I get so many people that write. And they say, oh my God, Yvette, it happened, it manifested, I got a new job, I got a, a check. All of these things happen, and I want to make sure you all know what, what signs that you may get to let you know that you're about to manifest something right now, okay? But before we get started, everyone, I want to make sure you watch this all the way to the end because you guys know I love to give out tips. Not only am I going to give you the, the 11 signs, but I'm also going to give you some tips on what to do and what not to do. So watch this live stream all the way to the end. Again, this is for your spiritual growth. I'm here on Sunday mornings with everyone from around the world. Now, if you're new to my world of metaphysics, before we start, this is a metaphysical law of attraction channel that gives manifesting techniques. So it doesn't matter if we're talking about affirmation, scripting, bay leaf, cinnamon, rituals, moon work, whatever. Everything is right here. Only thing I'm asking for you to do is to like, subscribe, tap the bell. And if you really want to support this channel, you will join membership. <laughs> okay. So now a couple other things I want to go over before we start is in the chat area. You can no longer write anything in the chat area unless you are a subscriber. So only subscribers can write in the chat. You just have to wait a minute or two, and then you're able to write. The other thing is that you're going to see people in green. These are channel members. These people, I answer their questions first. And even off of the live stream or with other videos, their comments come directly to me, and I answer them a little more fuller than I would with the, all the other 100 comments, okay? Okay. So do not think that I'm like overlooking you because I'm not. It's just that these guys are my members, okay? I love you all, but these are my members. The next thing it is, I want you to know, YouTube has allowed us to post products, okay, on our videos, okay? And if you do see in this video something that when you move the mouse around and you see products, those are products that I posted. Now, I get a lot of people out of the country that are saying, Yvette, I want to buy candles, I want to buy crystals, I want to buy stuff from you. Well, I post some of my products, some of the things in this little product thing on the video. It's on every one of my videos now. And I also have a link in the description that takes you to Amazon. Right there, you will see almost everything that I use in my home, whether it's candles, crystal, sage, everything is there. And there's a link in the description that takes you to Amazon and it is my Amazon shop. Okay. Again, these are all affiliates. Okay. Other than that, you can go to my website and you can buy directly from me. Okay. So let's get started with this. Okay. And again, this is the blessings. Um, this is a blessing day. This is a day you're going to realize the 11 unexpected signs that your manifestation is coming now. Now, look, I see so many people from all over the place. I even got New York in the house. Blessings to you. And I have here the black, the black um, egress, uh, the black tigress. Uh, welcome. And thank you for joining membership. You join as a gold member. Don't forget to look in the um, in the community tab where I send out a monthly um, a monthly code for you to have a discount to buy anything or to get coaching. Okay, so that's part of that package. Blessings to you, the Black Tigress. Okay, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I want to say hello to some of the members: Carlton Atkins, Cat Chastity. Mahog wait, Mahog Mohogamy Smith. I love the name. Um, Clinton Hall, Quibana's Anton, 
Britt is here. Um, Kay Lewis, Lynn, so many. Denise Stewart, um, Paul Siganio, Siglio, Siglio. Okay. Hello, Paul. That's the first time you're seeing your name here. Um, Queenie is here. So listen, blessings to you all and bless all the other people that are here. I see Boston. I see New York. I see people from all over the place. So now let's get to our discussion today. And again, take out your pen and paper, everyone, okay? So that you can take notes, so that you can read over your notes again, so to make sure when you see the signs, you don't have to sit there and say, oh, Yvette, um, what did she say? If you write down what I'm saying and then read it over, it will be in your conscious and your subconscious. So when you see it, it will be automatic. Okay. So now, again, why is it so important that we know the signs before our manifestations are coming? A lot of people give up. A lot of people walk away right before right before their manifestation gets there. It's almost like you put, you planted the seed, you do ev you did everything you needed to do. And then all of a sudden, right before it manifests, you walk away or you start throwing in all that negative talk and actually push it away. When we are trying to change our lives, there's a lot of times we're going through signs and uh, signs that things are not going to come. And we basically push away our manifestation. And that is why we're speaking on this topic today. I spoke on this topic a couple of years ago and we're bringing it back because a lot of people just do not know. Okay. So now the first, the first sign we're going to talk about, and it's a simple one. When you are trying to manifest something, you're going to, and when it starts to impregnate in your subconscious mind, you are going to start seeing it a lot, okay? Hey, Yvette, I want that Range Rover. Yo, I seen an orange one, and oh my God, Yvette, it was beautiful, but I never seen that before. Then all of a sudden, you turn around, the next week you see another one. The next week you're in Virginia somewhere, and you see another one. Listen, once you start seeing things over and over again, it's almost like you're impregnating it into your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind has already absorbed it. So now it's about how to get it to you, okay? So when you start seeing things, that house you want, hey, Yvette, I want a side-by-side -side split house. And then everywhere you go, you see a side-by-side -side split house. This is letting you know that you are doing something correctly and it is about to manifest for you. Now, again, it depends on what you're trying to manifest. Sometimes the universe has to work things through. Sometimes the universe has to work on you to improve, improve your credit, to get some money so that you can get that house, so you can get that car. OK, so it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a hand in hand thing. You, you have to work with the universe. But once you start seeing things, say to yourself, whoa, I'm going to get this. This is already on its way. <laughs> OK, so now the next sign that I want to tell you about is. Hearing, hearing it all over the place, okay? Not only are you seeing it, now you're hearing it. You want that Range Rover. Now all of a sudden you're hearing Range Rover commercials all over the place where you didn't hear it before. Maybe you want that new job and you want to go into the Air Force. All of a sudden you start hearing commercials about the Air Force, okay? Again, these are signs that something you're doing is starting to attract that into your life. Okay. And you need to understand this. Things don't happen by accident. Remember, we are a force field. We are energy. Anything that we think of, anything that we concentrate on is also energy, including our thoughts. So when you are desiring something and you've constantly thinking about it or burning a bay leaf or doing a ritual or saying a prayer, you are actually sending energy out to that thing and that thing is being drawn into you, okay? So, so hearing things, you can hear it on the TV. You can hear other people talking. You're sitting in a restaurant and all of a sudden you hear somebody speaking about the army uh -huh, or the Marines. All of this is happening for a reason. And these are signs that whatever it is that you want is on its way. And hold on, y'all, because we're going to keep going on. We're going to get into some juicy ones, okay? 
<laughs> so now the next one is you're here, you're seeing um, angel signs, okay? And there's two types of angel signs I want to talk about. But this one here, you're all of a sudden, you're thinking about what it is that you want. You turn around and you see a bird, an orange bird, a yellow bird. You are sitting there and you're walking or, you're, or you want a house and you went to an open house. As you go to walk in, like me, you get a feather coming in front of you. You see a feather and you look around and you see no birds and there's a feather right in front of you. Not in front of anyone else, but in front of you. Again, these are signs. Something is coming to you. When I first manifested this townhouse here, I was just having fun, everyone. Totally fun. I knew I was going to get a townhouse. I knew I wanted to be near water, near entertainment. I knew I wanted these things. But... When it came up, I was like, oh, they got a new complex they're building. And I went just for the fun of it because I didn't think I could afford to live on the water, <laughs> okay? So when I went in there just to have fun with my mother, I got a feather, not in front of the man, but in front of me. And it was a sign that I was going to be living in that same townhouse that I walked in. I have the model, everyone, and it came with all the perks, and I have the cheapest one that was in this complex, but it came with all the perks because it was the model. Do you see how when things are going to come your way, you will get signs, whether it's a feather, it's a bird, it's a butterfly, it's a coin on the ground, it's a sign left on your, on your car saying God loves you, or um, have faith. Whatever it is, you're going to get some signs, but a lot of times we overlook them. We don't expect them and we just look and shake it off and we keep going. Okay. What a beautiful bird. What a beautiful butterfly. And you just walk off, not paying attention that, Hey, I was just at a townhouse. Hey, look, I was just thinking about the job of my life, whatever it is. Okay, maybe you have some debt that you need to pay off and you're like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then a beautiful butterfly comes your way. That is reassurance that something is going to happen and the angels, the universe is supporting you. Okay, so now we're going to go on to another um, unexpected sign that your manifestation is coming now. And that is something simple that a lot of people really overlook. And that is things just all of a sudden just get easier. Just totally get easy. You turn around and before you're a little stressed, you're a little running around. And then all of a sudden, things just get easy. You're like, wow, things are so easy. Okay. And I want to give you an example of things getting easy. Um, I had to do some things yesterday and it was a uh, class and then it was a, another um, Zoom and then I needed to take something back to the store and then I had Amazon coming to pick up something and everything was happening at once. And then I got a flat tire, being nosy, driving around in a construction site, picked up a nail. I said, oh my God, it's coming at the wrong time. How am I going to do this? I got, I have to go fix this tire before everything closed because I don't know if anything's going to be open on Sunday. da 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 What happened is the universe worked everything out. I could have called AAA, but I said, no, I don't need them here at the time of my conference because I don't know when they're going to come. So I changed my tire. The conference got delayed. 10 minutes because somebody was running late and it allowed me to finish fixing my, to finish putting the donut on my car, which was a whole tire at that. I put the tire on my car. I was like, whoa, it was pouring rain yesterday. You guys, I backed the car up a little bit and listen, I couldn't believe it. The extra 10 minutes that I needed, the, the conference got delayed by 10 minutes. Then all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, Amazon, they need to come. They said one to eight. I need to take my car to have it repaired, the tire repaired. I was like, oh my God. As soon as the man was saying, okay, everyone, good night, the Amazon truck pulled right up, not during the conference, but pulled right up at the time when the conference was ending. On top of that, I then went down the block 
went over to Mavis and they repaired my tire within 10 minutes for free. Listen, after that, I was able to go to the store and take something back. I could not believe how everything worked right after one another so easy. These are things that you guys overlook. I can't believe it, Yvette, I got a flat tire. Oh my God, Amazon was coming from one to eight. Oh my God, I, I can't stay in the house. I don't know what to do. And you miss the whole point. You're sitting there, you're stressed out, and you basically cause more negativity to come into your life. When you are allowing, when you are manifesting, when everything seems to be working out for you, that is a sign that you are attracting positive, positive energy into your life. And things that you desire is about to happen. It is just that simple, everyone. You guys have to understand how the universe works. I sat there and I said, whoa, how did everything come so easy? I even got on the phone and told somebody, wow, everything worked out so easy. And it wasn't even that it worked out. It happened right where it need to happen. Okay. Just that fast. And a lot of people overlook that. But when you are manifesting something and you are feeling like, oh my God, Yvette, I don't know when it's coming. And then you start seeing everything going easy in your life. Start saying to yourself, wow, I'm about to manifest whatever it is that I want. <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying, give me that thumbs up, you guys. Give me that thumbs up. Take some notes, you guys, because again, if you don't realize these things, you are basically missing out. You're the type of person that would say, oh, man, I got a flat tire. Oh, my God, this is happening. This is happening. Oh, my God, I got to take this back to the store. Amazon said they were coming in the morning. Now they're coming from one to eight. Oh, my. No. Trust. Trust in the universe. Trust in God, Allah, Jehovah, and watch God make a way, okay? Because I couldn't have asked for anything to be even better. I could have got that flat tire in the street somewhere. No, I am very happy. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And this is what I said yesterday. So after things getting easy, you guys, another thing that will start to happen when you know your manifestation is about to happen opportunity is going to start coming to you. If you're looking for a particular job or if you're looking for to increase your money, you might start hearing opportunities or people bringing opportunities to you. You might look at your phone and it might look like the phone is talking directly to you. Hey, hey, Britt, we have a job right here for video creation. Hey, look, uh, you, you understand? You start hearing opportunities, even if you take it or you don't take it. That's up to you. But here's a hint, hint, a tip, tip. When you see that you are trying to do something, okay, and then it don't come the way you want it to come, ask the universe, ask your guardian angels, what is it I'm supposed to do? What is it you're trying to tell me? Because a lot of times nothing happens by accident and that can be a message or a stepping stone to get you where you want to be. Ha ha, it happened to me, okay? So opportunities come to you. Look into those opportunities to see if those opportunities can lead you where you want to be, okay? It is just that simple. Opportunities of um, raising extra money so that you can pay off your debt so that you can buy that house opportunities where you're getting a raise at your job. That raise is just enough to allow you to get that brand new Range Rover. Whatever it is, opportunities start happening. Don't overlook it, you guys. Say to yourself, hey, look, what are you trying to tell me, universe? What is it that I need to know? And look into that. And if it's not for you, let it go. But just know opportunities are coming and the right opportunity is about to happen for you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Now, the next thing that I can say about signs, unexpected signs that, that your manifestation is coming. And this is one that happens to many of us, if not all of us. And that is 
things just go bad. I mean, they just go bad. Oh my God. Um, oh my God, Yvette. I was trying to manifest money and then all of a sudden I lost all my money. Oh my God, Yvette. Oh my God. Oh, Yvette, I was trying to manifest a job and then I lost my job. Listen, we all been there, okay? Nothing happens by accident. Stop. Don't panic. Say, okay. Whew. After you have uh, processed the actual bad thing, because we're all human, you got to cry. Oh my God, Yvette, I lost $10,000. You have to process that, okay? I'm not telling you to be a robot. I'm not telling you to not have feelings. I'm saying after you process it, sit back and say, okay, what is the lesson behind this? What is it that I need to know? Is this an opportunity for me, haha, to start my own business? Is this an opportunity for me to do what it is that I really wanted to uh, manifest? I wanted to start my own shop. I wanted to start my own business. I wanted to write books. Is this the time right now for me to do these things, okay? When things start happening bad, stand back and say to yourself, what is it? Now, listen, it could very much be you thinking negativity. Oh, we bet I want to manifest a million dollars. But at the same time, oh, no, we bet it ain't never going to happen because I am broke, Okay. You could have actually manifested whatever it is coming into your life bad. So I'm not going to say that is not the reason because a lot of times it is. But most, but a lot of times also, you are going to have something bad happen to you, okay? And, and if it does, stand back. What is the lesson? What is it that I need to know? Sit back to yourself and say, did I really like this job in the beginning? Did I really want to be at this job in the beginning? Is this job really for me? Was I too stressed out for this job? And, and look at it that way and then take wise action, okay? And I'm telling you guys, by you taking wise action and using the things that are going wrong in your life, you are basically setting yourself up to manifest whatever it is that you want. A lot of times, Things happen to get you where you need to be. And that's going to take me, take you, take me into the next one. And that is when you are manifesting something, things start moving out of your life. Okay. Now, listen, I have, listen, uh, let me see who this is right here, real quick. Stephanie Jinkson, um, Jenkins, Stephanie. You gifted five people a membership. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. You gifted Hazel Jones, Misa Arlene, Kayla Edwards, Bun Bun, <laughs> Aubrey Mil uh, Millionie, Millionie, uh, and Maha. And, uh, yes, you gifted five people. Blessings to you and blessings. Totally blessings. I hope they're blessed. Thanking you right now the five people that you gifted a membership, a one month membership. Blessings to you. Now, let's give me a, let me give you an example. You want to you want to manifest a marriage. You want to manifest being married and basically you end up losing the boyfriend or the girlfriend that you are with. Oh, he said I wanted to manifest being married and now he's gone. Hey, maybe when you were manifesting or doing your rituals or your prayer work, God moved out whatever it is that needed to go. There is no accidents, everyone. Sometimes when you're manifesting something and something is about to come, things go away. Friendship, relationships, jobs, everything that is not for you may go away to allow the good to come in. It is just that simple, you guys. Uh, people panic when things lead their lives because they're comfortable with it. If you are trying to manifest that marriage and you're with Tom Tom that puts you down every single minute, that person is not for you. And the universe knows this. Your higher self knows this. The only one that don't know this is you. So when you're trying to manifest something and it's about to happen, Maybe Jim Jones is around the corner and he's looking for you and you're looking for a marriage and the universe knows this and it has to get rid of this one that puts you down all the time. 
It is just that simple. Whether we're talking about a relationship, a friend, um, a job, anything can actually fit in. So one of the signs that something is about to happen in your life is that things get moved out. Things get moved away. On top of that, some bad things might happen. But again, when you go through things like this, and I want you to write this down, this is the time to have greater faith, you guys, to have greater faith that whatever it is that you're desiring is about to come, is about to happen. So now let's get on to the next unexpected sign that something is about to happen. Okay, and that is my angel numbers, you guys. Listen, when you are trying to manifest something, whether you're doing a ritual, writing, doing scripting, um, affirmations, or mirror work, and you start seeing angel numbers, know that something is about to happen. Listen, you guys, we got 141 people here. We got 100 thumbs up. Get those thumbs up to even more, okay? Now, listen. Angel numbers are powerful. And I'm seeing a whole lot of 111, 1111 lately. They come and they go as needed. Okay. So for the last two months, I've been seeing 1111 everywhere, you guys, totally everywhere. So I'm asking God, what are you trying to tell me? Where am I going? What is about to happen? Okay. So now when it comes down to manifestations, the numbers that I would actually look for when you're feeling like you're you're feeling like things are not working well for you, or you feel like your manifestations are not coming true, and then you start seeing four 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 or three three three, these are the angel numbers and the ascended masters numbers. These are the numbers of balance of alignment, letting me know that you're in alignment, you're getting balanced. At the same time, you're being supported by the angels and by the ascended masters based on the numbers you are seeing, okay? Okay, so you have to understand that. It's more like guidance and support. So now when you start seeing the other numbers that your manifestation is coming, you might start seeing 777. Aha, the lucky number, I'm on the right track. You might start seeing the money number, the abundant number, 888, okay, you guys? 777 888. Okay, now some numbers that you will not expect to see is 555. This is one of my numbers, you guys. 555 is the number of change. You look at the clock, it's 555. Uh huh. Somebody gives you a receipt, it's five dollars and 55 cents. Okay, this is the number of change. And this is what we're asking for. We're asking for that new car. We're asking for that new home. We're asking for that new career. We're asking for better health. We're asking for that love of our lives. And then you start seeing five, five, five everywhere. Expect a change. And it is coming fast, you guys. You just have to have faith and be open and receptive for it to come. Now, another number that scares the heck out of everyone, and that is 666. 666 is the material number, is the angel number for material um, objects, okay? So when you start seeing 666, expect something to come your way. Now, one little tip about 666. 666 could mean something's coming your way, like abundance, money, cars, houses. It's the earthly things, okay? Um, that's why they use it in some of the movies because the 666 represent material wealth. And you know, you got so many people out there saying money is the root of all evil, Yvette. So what number would you use? You would use 666. That's where that comes from. 666 is the material world. When you start seeing this number, it can mean that it's coming to you or maybe you're focusing on it too much. So you only you can determine if you need to balance it out, okay? But 666 is one of those numbers that you need to know. Now, what is another number that I want you guys to know besides 1111? When you see 1111, think spirituality. Think um, whatever it is manifesting is coming your way, okay? So just remember that 1111, 111, it contains a whole lot of things, okay? 
but a mostly using spirituality. Now, another number that I want to mention to you guys, and that is the 999. When you start seeing 999, it is basically referencing humanitarian um, things or your life purpose. When we're dealing with your life purpose, we're dealing with more than just you. Your life purpose is always including others. Either you're a daycare owner, daycare sitter, and you're an owner. Maybe you own a coffee shop. You're serving people coffee in the morning, whatever it is. But when you start seeing 999, it's about your life purpose and how you can uh, affect other people in the world, okay? Maybe you're opening up a business and then you're doing a lot of donations, okay? I donate a whole lot, especially to animals and children, okay? So whatever it is you can do, this is where this is where the 999 comes from. So this is another number, that unexpected number that your manifestation is coming, okay? If you guys are keeping up with me, okay? Give me that thumbs up, you guys. This is live Sunday. I'm here for you, okay? So now, we spoke about angel numbers, difficulties, things leaving your life, opportunities, okay? Things just getting easier, signs from birds and can and, and um, butterflies and stuff. I'm hearing things, seeing things. Okay, so now, where are we going with this, okay? Now, another sign that things are about to manifest and that is things get very peaceful, you guys, okay? That's a little different from things just um, being easy. Things just get peaceful. There's no arguing. There's no uh, disagreements at your job. Things just get peaceful. And a lot of people don't notice it. Then all of a sudden you're in the car and you're driving and you just feel so relaxed. And you're saying, wow, I feel relaxed. When these things are happening, you guys, remember, we're dealing with the uh, emotional frequency, okay, scale, okay? And when you are relaxed, you're calm, you're at peace, you're very balanced at that point. And when you are, you are not pushing things away because you're fearful, you're angry, you're worried. You're not pushing things out of your life because you are at peace. And I mentioned this before, we, we, we want to reach for love in everything that we do to stay at the higher vibrational frequency. But at the same time, we're all human. But if you just think calm, peace, staying peaceful, staying calm, you are very balanced. So when you start feeling peaceful, knowing that, know that you are opening up the doors for whatever it is you're trying to manifest. And it is just that simple. Now, another thing that go along with being peaceful, and I will include with this, and that would be having confidence. When you are trying to manifest something, okay, your confidence is actually, again, indicating that you are lifting yourself up to that level of consciousness where you want to be, okay? So when you are full, with, full of confidence, Oh, I'm, I, I know I'm going to get that job. I know I'm going to get that car. I know, listen, if I don't get it, it's okay. It'll come to me in another way. When you are full of confidence, you guys, you are basically stating it's already done. And you are not at the worry, the fear, the disappointment. You are basically saying, I am the creator of my life. Whatever it is that I desire is already done. Okay, do you see the difference when I'm talking about being at peace and when I'm saying about confidence? You are actually saying, look, okay, whatever's going on is going on, but that is not my reality because I know I can do whatever it is that I want. If something messes up, I'll take a step back and I'll get back on track. It is what it is, okay? These people manifest, and I'm telling you right now, when you walk around with that level of confidence and at ease and at peace, things happen and they come. So when you start seeing yourself full of confidence and feeling at ease, know whatever it is you are trying to do is about to manifest, okay? It is just that simple. Now, the last thing, now the next thing I want to say, I got two more to give you guys, 
And the next one is dreams, everyone. Now, you guys know I'm dreams. I love my dreams. And my dream journal is coming out this week, you guys. Not only is it just a, a dream journal, but it gives you some interpretations that help you along your way. And it gives you instructions about dream recall and interpreting your dreams. So it's not the typical dream journal, you guys. And it will be out this week. Um, dreams. When you are trying to manifest something in your life, you might start having dreams about that thing, or you might start having dreams of you being happy, or you just being, dreams just indicating that whatever it is that you want is actually on its way. If you are looking to manifest that romantic partner, you might start having dreams of yourself getting married, or you might have a dream of yourself being somewhere with someone. All, the, all of these things are indicating that something is about to happen. Pay attention to your dreams. Start doing dream recall and start writing things out and looking it up to see what the heck my higher self in the universe is trying to tell me. Dreams are powerful, you guys. You know it's one of my favorite topics, okay? So now, the next thing that I, last thing I want to mention um, before your manifestations come, the, the unexpected signs, is a lot of you, and this is what I mentioned earlier, you guys, and you guys have to understand this. A lot of you will have doubt before it manifests. Even I was trying to manifest that new career, they gave it to someone else. Okay, when things like that happen, this is a time for you to have more faith. But a lot of people have a lot of doubt at this time, okay? And when they do, they push things away. But to understand, you guys, this is a time when things are about to happen, okay? When you start feeling doubt, this is the time when I need you to have even more faith that whatever it is, is about to happen. I'm going to give you a little tip right now. When you feel like you're full of doubt, somebody just got the job that you wanted. I want you to step back and I want you to say, God, universe, Allah, whoever's your supreme being, I know whatever it is that you have for me is already for me. No one can take it away from me. Only person that can give it to me is you, God. I, I release, I trust, and I give this to you. Whatever it is that you want me to do, whatever it is that you want me in the, whatever direction that you want me to go in, I know you have my back. I am looking for your guidance and I'm going to let this go. I'm going to give this to you, God, and I'm going to trust. Just as simple. You don't have to use those words, but do you understand something just happened? I didn't get the job that I wanted. Hey, look, step back. God, I trust and I give this to you. Okay. There's a difference. Watch and see how not only you're going to get a job, but you're going to get either that job or something better. That job might appear in another department and that job that you didn't get might be the job from hell. Okay. It is just that simple, everyone. And you guys thought you, you really need to start understanding how the universe works. There is no good or bad. There is no per there's no preferred people. You have to use the universe, the system, the way it is being given to you. You are the creator of your life. You're the one that makes the decisions of what comes in your life, what is attracted into your life. And it's all based on how you handle the situations. God, I give this to you. For all I know, God, you're my only supplier. This person right here, the job right here, they're just something that you work through to give me what it is that I want. God, I want to thank you because if this didn't come to me, I know you got something better planned for me. God, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I release, I trust, and I give this to you, God. Okay? And that is just as simple as it can be. Again, doubt is one of the things that push people away from their dreams, okay? Away from their manifestation. You're right at the finish line. The doubt kicks in. This is the time to say, God, I know I'm about to manifest it because the doubt just kicked in and I'm going to let this go. Okay. I'm going to have faith, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now 
as a tip to those that are still here, okay, we got 185 people here. Okay, get those thumbs up. And again, I want to thank Stefan Jenkins for donating five membership. Blessings to you and all the people that are joining us. Hazel, Misa, or Miss, Ar Miss Arlene, Kayla, Bun Bun, uh, Aubrey, Mahog Mahogany. That's Mahogany. Okay, Mahogany. I think I said your name wrong. <laughs> Blessings to you all and welcome to membership for at least one month. Welcome. As a tip for you guys. What is it that I want to tell you guys about um, what to do and what not to do? When you are trying to manifest something and you feel like it is on its way, I want you to take action and move forward. And when I say take action, wise action, you guys. On this channel, I'm not the type to tell you to lay on the bed and expect money to drop out of the sky. I don't do that. I won't do that. That's just not what I, I'm, I, I'm about. My whole thing is, is that, yes, it can happen. You can win a million dollars or somebody can pass away and give you a million dollars, whatever. But my whole thing is taking action, everyone. Okay, whether you're putting in a resume or maybe you're going out, hanging with your girlfriends, getting out the house and run into that mate of your life. Whatever type of action, if you, if you like gambling, go into the casino, play in the lotto. That is all action, okay? The next thing is, I need you to believe that the universe, God, Allah, Jehovah, Mother Earth supports you, okay? I, I need you really to believe that nothing comes from the external. Everything comes from within. And within is where your supreme being is connected to you, is with you. Your higher self and your supreme being is rooting for you. So whatever it is that you want, as long as you believe in yourself and have faith, and keep moving, it has to manifest. I'm not telling you not to pivot a little bit and fix things where it need to be fixed, but you stay on track and you keep moving, okay? Um, and now the, now the other thing that I want to tell you is, as a tip, is again, when things go bad, I really need you to process it. Oh, we bad. Oh, we bad. Let it go and have faith. God, I have faith in you important, you guys, okay? Please remember this. Again, replace God with universe, Allah. Remember, there's only one God, you guys. One God of many names, okay? The next thing is, is when you have doubt or when something is happening or when you feel like you're doing everything and you don't know what to do, talk to your spiritual guides, talk to your angels, talk to God, talk to the universe, get guidance from there. God, I'm, I'm starting to feel like this ain't going to happen. God, you know what? Um, my angels, um, I'm just going to sit back and give this to you. I'm going to love you guys. Uh, no matter what happened, I, I already know it's already going to manifest, you know? But sometimes I'm feeling a little um, feeling a little down. But you know what? At this point, I'm going to let this go. Because God, my angels, I know you are with me. I totally know you're with me. And I'm going to let this go. Totally let this go. Okay. Whatever it is to get you back on track to knowing whatever it is that you want is on its way, I need you to do that, okay? Now, the next thing is, and the biggest thing, is never give up, okay? Now, listen, some things that you might do, you might need to say, okay, let me stop. Let me stop this right now. I want to I wanna manifest a trillion dollars next week. And listen. Sometimes you need to be realistic because do you really feel inside that you're going to manifest a trillion dollars next week? Okay. Now that's going to push you in the opposite direction because deep inside, you really don't believe that. Okay. I'm not saying it can't happen, but a trillion dollars is a lot of money, you guys. <laughs> okay. The manifest next week. So what I'm saying is if, the, if you want to start your own business, don't give up. If you want to start your own YouTube channel or your blog, don't give up. If you want to start your, uh, get a raise at your job, don't give up. If you want to start a new position at your job, don't give up. If you're looking for the love of your life, get out the house, hang with your girlfriends, go to the bookstore, go somewhere where you know you love to be so that you can meet somebody similar to you. Not going there to meet somebody, but going to have fun. Don't give up, okay? These are the things. If it's a health issue, start changing your diet. Like I said with me. My blood pressure went up. I said, oh, shoot me. Huh? What? And then it came back down. I'm not saying that it's perfect, perfect, 
but I'm not taking anything. I'm not doing anything. I just have to watch myself, you know, with my, with my diet. I can't no longer eat the, all the stuff, the lobster and crabs and <laughs> all the other. Sea I'm a seafood person, you guys. So I totally can eat seafood all the time. Sometimes it's not cooked the way it needs to be cooked. But what I'm saying is when things happen, you don't give up. OK, you just don't give up because because that is going to say, basically, I don't trust. I don't believe. And that's it. You are never going to fail as long as you keep standing up. When you lie down, that's when you fail because you gave up. OK, and that's my last word that I want to give to you guys before hitting a couple of the comments. Blessings to you all. Remember, the unexpected signs that your manifestation is coming is there. You have to realize it and say, holy shoot, Yvette, I woke up and I seen 444. What were you doing before you seen 444? I had a dream that I was flying. What does flying mean? Aspiration, um, motivation, okay? What else were you doing? Before I went to sleepy bed, I was saying, God, show me what it is that I need to know, what, what it is I need to know to get this new job. And then you wake up, it's 444. Four, four. Angel guidance, angel support, all of these things, getting balance, all of these things are in it, okay? So you got to start putting things together and start realizing nothing happens by accident. There are no coincidences, okay? Synchronicities are things that you're going to see when it's about to happen. Just know these things and it's going to help you have more faith and keep you more calm. And that's all it is. We got 211 people here. We got 156 thumbs up. Get those thumbs up. Blessings to you all. Again, if you haven't bought my journals to help you with your um, transformation, they're on Amazon. They're on Barnes and Nobles. They're in the descriptions on my website. I also have the dream journal that is coming out this week. And again, it's not like the typical dream journal. It gives you um, some dream um, uh, interpretations. It also gives you how to do this. Very simple, very brief, but it's giving you all this information instead of just saying, just write it out. I give you a whole lot to do. Okay. So blessings to you guys all. And now I want to also thank um, Stefan Jenkins again for the donation. And um, wait, what is it? Black Tigress? for being a gold member. Blessings to you. <laughs> Carlton Atkins, hello. I got somebody up there too. I can't see their name with the thing up there. Somebody up there from Dallas, Texas. I want to say hello. Um, okay, so I have people just saying good morning, morning, morning. My members, my comment moderator is here. People from Jacksonville. Hello, beautiful gents. Britt, everybody here. Um, the Black um, Tigress said, good morning, everyone. Kay Lewis, Britt, Lynn. Um, let me go down to members first. Britt says, so glad I joined membership. The amount of gems dropped on that level is incredible. Look, Britt, thank you. I love it. 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 <laughs> Kat said, happy Palm Sunday for those who observe. Happy Palm Sunday, everyone. Blessings to you guys all. Okay. Denise Stewart said, hello. Paul Sigliano says, good morning. Hello, Paul. Hello, hello, hello. I see you're a new member and welcome. I guess you've been here for about, I'm not, yeah, you're a new member. So blessings to you. Okay. You and Britt. Okay. New York is here too. Look, Britt said, I'm from New York too. Hello. Um, greetings. Queenie is here. She said, happy Sunday. Oh, my other, um, my other co-worker is here. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I have here, I'm so true, I kept seeing Escalades. I love it, Black Tigress. I love it. <laughs> I love it. We have Tasha Time here. Hello, Tasha Time. Blessings to you. I love your name. Hello. Um, Britt said, yep, I've been seeing um, Cardinals. I love it. Angie Hunt says, hello, late, but I'm here. Angie, you're never late. You're never late. Kat said, yeah, I kept seeing bright, shining cars. I'm staring at me. I love it. Erica Bradley is here. Hello, Erica. Stefan Jenkins. Uh, people, uh, okay, people, let me see. Carlton Atkins, um, Tumblr's in, in a lock. Stefan Jenkins. 
Yes, I ran out of gas this week. I sat in peace, looked up. Thanks, thanks God. Blessings to you. Listen, I was one of those people that used to run out of gas too. Oh, just because I was lazy and it was like, I'll make it to the next gas station. <laughs> love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, Stefan Jiggy said, yes, ma'am. You said, um, like you said, don't think about it, believe it. Absolutely. A lot of thumbs up. Um, what do we have is Stefan Jenkins. Um, I mentioned thank you again. That is so supportive of you, of the people on this channel. I started to spring clean and noticing my mood changed to positivity. Positivity. Yes, blessings to you. Um, okay. And then we have uh, people that's commenting. Light and love, Stefan Jenkins. Um, Kat said, hey, Carlton, blessings to you. Denise Stewart, welcome to, to all the new members give, give, given from Stefan. Thank you, Denise, for supporting. Angie Hunt said, blessings. Um, everybody is saying, Hudson O. Robinson is here. Hello, Hudson. Hello. Um, Hudson said, good morning, Yvette, and everyone listening. It's a beautiful Sunday. Absolutely. And if you were in New York, we were in rain for the last two days. It was more powerful, like tornado rain. <laughs> but today is a nice, bright day. Queenie says, um, okay, um, um, missed my spot. Okay, let me get back. Okay, Kat. Okay. I am someone who's okay, so let me get back a little bit so I'm not missing anyone. Um, stop. Let me see. Okay, Queenie, thumbs up. Okay, cool. I see. I understand now. This is in 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 inert the nature of matter. I'm learning from you. Mind over matter. I love it, Carlton. Um, okay, so I lost my spot, so I'm going to keep it moving. Sorry about that. Ernest Muhammad is here. He said, God's goodness to all this morning. Kay Lewis said, yes, ma'am, you're talking to me this morning. <laughs> Stefan Jenkins said, um, the alive, he's so on point. I just love you, Missy Beth. Oh, blessings, blessings. I, I guess you meant she. <laughs> I realize, I, I, re I release, I trust, and give this to God. I blessings. Um, Carlton, cool. Carlton said, cool. I see. I understand now. This is it. Okay. We read that before. Thank you, Carlton. Um, what else do we have here? Starman, which is my, um, worker said, um, keeping the comments clean and positive because I'm here. To oh, you are so funny. <laughs> You're so funny. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Carlton, much love back to you. Okay. Paul said, I am someone who's in chronic pain. I am facing major back surgery on May 24th. I am terrified, but I give it to God and no, I will be okay. I refuse to let it weigh maybe down. Paul, I will say as a member, I need you to sit here and I need you to say perfect, whole, and complete. God is the, is the healer and works through the doctors. Oh, I am perfect, whole, and complete. Just keep saying perfect, whole, and complete. God, I trust. God, I give this to you. And I need you to say that. I don't want you focusing on, I am, I am in con, um, chronic pain. I am in pain. I don't want you to focus on that. I want you to focus on yourself being better, okay? Focus only on the positive. Focus only on your family. Focus only on your career. Focus only on the good doctors that God has brought into your life. That's all I want you to focus on, okay? And blessings to you. Kim Clay said, this 